Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedging Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. All right. What's going on? So we had this wedge pattern last night, which I pointed out. Price broke down, consolidated, looked like a bear flag, and kaboom, went back up. <laughs> I still feel, though, that this white ABC is still in play. If it breaks the top trend line and rises back up, great. I'd be even more happy. Then that'll signal that this ABC correction was actually the red ABC. Okay, So this red ABC could be the end of the correction and will start just cruising upwards and break 10,000 in a few days. Fantastic if that happened. I have no complaints. But again, I've been consistently saying this has been a bit too quick. If this ABC is a correction, a little too quick. Not enough depth in the retracement of the five waves. And I'll show you then the bigger picture in a little bit. Now I just want to draw another set of trend lines here. It might look a little messy, but there were so many lines. So let's draw across the peaks of these where the price is right now, across here as well. Connect those. I'll make that into maybe a purple line. So if I connect that and I do the same thing for the bottoms of the prices, let's say. <clears throat> we have a bit of a channel going on. If price and note how where this top white line of the uh, wedge and the purple line cross is exactly pretty much where the price is right now if the price can decisively move this way breach both of those lines that'll be a great signal that'll be a good confirmation in price action to show that this red ABC is the actual correction. Okay, now, let's look at the longer term. I've shown this before, and what's changed? Not much. Not much has changed. So we have this rounded bottom formation, but more importantly, if we add the Elliott waves, we got a definitive five wave set completed. One, two, here are the subways of three. One, two, three, four, five for three. A, B, C, A, B, C, or W, X, Y, or four, and then five. Now, four should be actually right here because that's not a lower low. It's not a real triangle. So one, two, three, four, and five. Five was about equal to one, maybe 1.382 about yeah, 1.38 of 1 in price height, not in the duration of time. For new Elliotitians, you have to remember the length of the wave has nothing to do with how long it takes. It's only in the height of the price. The length of the wave is measured by price only and not in time for Elliot wave counting. So if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, now the pattern shows a rounded price formation. And here we have the handle in progress for an ABC. And I think if, and, and look at this top blue line. That top blue line is connecting the tops of the prices of up here, as I had shown. Right, that's this line, basically. And the bottom blue line, actually, no, I should make it blue just to make it correlate better. And the bottom line is the same as the blue line on the longer term. So this is the handle of this major cup that we saw, not a major, but a rounded price formation. Now, this is bullish because a cup and handle is a combination of two patterns, a rounded formation and a bull flag. This is a bull flag. 
Now, if price can break this resistance right here, great. Then we're on. Then remember, for every pattern, I said there's two uh, requirements. It has to be complete. So this cup and handle is pretty much almost complete and confirmed. Confirmed in this case will mean that the price will have to breach this top blue line. It'll have to break through. And if that's the case, that'll be very bullish. That'll finish and confirm that the red ABC was the ABC zigzag we were looking for because they did count as five, three, fives. And now and that once it breaks, it should start impulsing towards 10K and higher. Now I want to introduce just one more pattern that I'm thinking of and looking at. I'm going to draw horizontal lines. Oops. Right across here. There's one, <clears throat> and there's one, another one right, right across. It's a little bit tilted on this one. Okay. So what am I getting at? If you've been following me for quite a while, I think by now you should know what I'm getting at. Let me redraw this. So if we get this breakout, I'm going to probably bounce, go, Bounce up. So what do we have? We have the left shoulder right here. And the right shoulder right here. And the head. Formation right here. So we've got a head and shoulders patterning out. Let's look at the volume. This is the left shoulder. The head is much higher than the shoulder, and the right shoulder probably will still below below the level of the volume of the head. Now let's look at the secondary line. We've got a potential of uh, inverted head and shoulders being embedded within a larger in, uh, inverted head and shoulders. So we've got the left shoulder, the head, and then the right shoulder. This might tilt as well, who knows? But by then, you know what? We'll be in the 12,000s. Beautiful. Now, what is this line again? This, this is that beautiful resistance that knocked back and repelled Bitcoin once, twice, thrice. <laughs> it's that 11,800 or 12,000, whatever you want to call it. And this right shoulder should break it. And if we're looking at that right now, let me get rid of the form. Maybe we should make it cleaner. Bring this lower. Let's look at the minimum travel for the big head and shoulders. So I draw the line, change the color to purple. I don't want to do any math. I'm just going to copy and paste that and put it right over here. And again, we arrive at that 17,300. Make it easy. Bear in mind that I don't put these targets for precision hit requirements, just as goalposts. So the minimum target is 17,300. Beautiful. Now I do have another count in mind, which I'm not going to discuss right now, but it is a bit of, bit of a bearish tone. But until we get there, I'd rather not discuss it because it'll just cause more confusion than anything else, I think. I, I know that I always say awareness is key to keep the panic away. But in this case, I think there's enough of an awareness so that any more could cause confusion, especially to the new 
elutitions. But for now, let's just see how this goes. We need to finish the handle formation of this cup and handle. So you got a cup and handle within a head and shoulders potential, and that inverted small head and shoulders is embedded within the bigger head and shoulders. That's pretty cool. That's quite bullish in my opinion. So whatever small short-term wiggles and squiggles the price is doing right now, even if it goes to 7,500, this kind of perspective will really help you. And this, we have a bullish downward wedge, which broke out, is now consolidating, as just as I explained with the pattern waves. And once it breaks out, 17,300 will be the minimum one. Will this be in June, July, August? I have no idea on the timing, but I would say approximately mid-June, maybe July, early August potentially. That's the time band range that I would put this into. And then after that, we're going to probably, if it exceeds it, great, we're going to have a sizable correction again. And that'll freak a lot of people out. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has been helpful. Make sure to have yourself a wonderful day.